Oh, hey there. Oh, don't worry about this. It was Valentine's recently. No, actually, those are uh, my mom's. I I'm alone. That's okay, though, because we have the Emulation Machine 2.0. If you're wondering what the first one was, click up here to go look at the original video where I used this thing, an old cabinet that we took out of our house to build what I'm calling an emulation machine, which is a GameCube emulator built out of old PC parts. So, 2.0 is an improved lighter system that has a built-in speaker and Wii U dongle. So, we're gonna be diving into this and taking a little deeper look at the improvements I made from this old bulky heavy one to this one and exactly what I did to get there. Let's dive in. All right, guys. Welcome here. I'm gonna walk you through kind of what this case is first. So this I picked up at a uh, PC scrapyard. It was just sitting in there pretty random to be at a PC scrapyard because it's not really meant for that. But I found this here and the reason I chose this as opposed to trying to find something else is it has a, a built-in it has a built-in uh, um, little mounting point so that I could just lay this board on here and go right to um, putting it together and not have to make my own mounting brackets for the side. And it was about the perfect depth that I needed, so it, it really was a great choice. Um, I'm not going to actually open this up right now, but I will overlay a picture and kind of show you what I did on the inside in a little bit. But as far as features here, we have an intake fan, a 120mm fan, an outgoing fan that is 120 millimeter and we got a speaker here and I used a Bluetooth speaker and it's plugged in through via USB and that's what gives it the power and then it's plugged right into the auxiliary port. This is for GameCube controllers so that you can plug GameCube controllers directly into this and play GameCube games. Alright guys, so here we are, I'm going to go over some stuff, um, and this is the inside of the emulation machine here. Uh, so we'll start with these little uh, mounting brackets here. These things were super helpful, they came on there, they're removable and they can slide back and forth and it's made mounting that wood piece on there a lot easier. Um, but what we see right off is this Wii U dongle, I used a U bracket to mount it in the side with those drilled holes. And yeah, the foam here and all doesn't look very pretty, but it's covered up by the, the piece of wood there, so it doesn't really matter. But it helps compress it and keep the vibrations down and stuff. Same thing here, just use zip ties. It was simple. Uh, it works really well on a smaller power supply like that. Um, the motherboard, actually, I use long, little, uh, little teeny uh, bolts, and then I, I used uh, uh, nuts to just put down over it. It mounts pretty well. And right over here with the power um, uh, adaption I did was I, I took this little cable right here which was a, a just an extra power cable for power supply I had I stripped that down and met that with this right here which is the uh, monitor power and I just splice those right into here and split it out from there works wonders and very compact and simple um, what I didn't get any pictures of was the the uh, bottom of, of the uh, the plate that I put over this the wood plate I put over it which was um, it had the speaker mounted onto it and the fans that I used now as you can tell I have two fans on there and to mount the, the 120 millimeter fan I had above this um, graphics card right here is pretty difficult it's very thin you only have like 12 millimeters between this graphics card and, and the wood that's mounted here. So I actually had to buy a slim fan and that still barely fit but it did work. Um, the one right here, a regular 120 millimeter fan was perfectly fine. Um, oh, by the way, fun fact, this CPU on here is a, a, a 6 core uh, Phenom I think and um, that thing runs at 46 degrees under load. 
<laughs> because I put a 120 millimeter fan over it along with the CPU fan that is right there at it. 46 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, but there's a lot of good airflow in there, so it runs really cool. Um, but other than that, this little power button down here is one I got online. It has a little red ring around it. It looked cool. I liked it. It's made of, uh, I think, aluminum. And uh, so I popped that in there, drilled it out, and just screw it in together. And um, this right here, this USB port, is just an old USB port I had from an old computer that I just plugged in the motherboard, mounted it up there. As you can tell, the glue got a little messy. I had to glue it because I couldn't mount it in there like I wanted to, just becoming too troublesome. Um, the display here, this is probably the hardest thing. It's still a little bit crooked from what I would have liked it to been, but it, it is really difficult to mount. Um, I, I wanted to put a bezel here too, all the way around, but that became a, a whole other challenge and I just didn't want to put that much time into this project. But um, the uh, mounting bolts I put behind the monitor right here, right in this area, um, you have to figure out a way to line it up. I actually had to use foam and stick the foam into the, the, the place where the, the bolts go into and then put paint on it and then lay it on there how I wanted it so that it would line up. That was the only way I could think to do it. Um, but yeah, you line that up. You just screw that on and I put some foam behind it so that it would compress it down and it wouldn't vibrate or scratch too much. Um, and yeah, I got some cable management here with the cable sleeves. Uh, and this is the outside where that Wii U dongle is. Um, pretty much that's all to speak of here. I, this, this chain right here, I actually uh, just had laying around and I used that on my last build and it worked pretty well. Uh, this one's a little bit problematic. It doesn't want to line up the same as the other side over here, but it worked and it's not, it's not too bad. But overall, I'm pleased with it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, overall, I'm pleased with it, but I will say a few things that I didn't like is that um, it is the fans are a little bit loud, and I wish I'd have done a little better on that, but it's hard for me to do unless I regulate voltage and stuff like that. All in all, I'm pleased with it, though. Um, it's been really fun to make and a really cool concept. If you guys like this, uh, remember to leave a comment, like, give your suggestions, helpful suggestions, you know, toss ideas back and forth, whatever. And uh, other than that, don't forget to like, and we'll see you in the next video.